very clear You'll keep on with your lies Year after year And now I say to you Goodbye, my dear I don't have to run away Just to get away Just to get away from you Between your many loves You always return It's time you knock on my door Love's fever burns After just a few days You went away and now I say to you, never again. I don't have to run away just to get away from you. I don't have to run away just to get away from you. I don't have to run away just to get away. straight out of Atlanta, Georgia, by way of New York City. Normally, I'm here to tell you about music, but today, I'm here to tell you about a book. Not just any book, a very special book about a very special lady, my mother, Willa Mae Lane, AKA, the Queen of Swing. Picture, 1939, America was in a terrible depression. The New York Stock Exchange, the stock market crash. It was reported that people were jumping out of the windows to their demise. Wow! Money was drawn from the accounts. Money was drawn from personal accounts all the way down to the national debt accounts. It was a terrible time. People were starving. Some demise. But there was another side to this coin, and that was the entertainment industry in which somehow Afro-Americans and their white counterparts survived during the 1939 period of depression. One of the greatest stories told is the story of my mother, a heroic woman who was from Georgia, Fort Gaines, a sharecropper, who just absolutely refused to crop and to pick cotton. She loved to dance. She danced her ways out of the fields of adversity, straight into the positions of stardom and success. She made a few movies. One of the major movies was a movie with a guy by the name of Al Jolson and the singing kid. That movie was very popular. 
but it got nixed because it debased Afro-Americans. In 1939, there were a lot of movies that were made on the white movie set. But this was one of the very first black movies that opened the door and became a cornerstone for black independent movies. The name, The Devil's Daughter, starring Nina Mae McKinney, Hamtree Harrington, and my mother, who co-starred Willa Mae Lane. This movie opened the door for lots of black people in this country. The reason why is because it became a cornerstone for independence. People who didn't have a great deal of budget, but they had the art, which is what this movie did. It showed that black people had the art. And we have more to give than just being servants, butlers, and pardon the expression for the Afro-American ladies, the breastfeeding mammy suckers that was portrayed and exposed right on the white American screen. We're not here to downgrade Hollywood, but we are here to upgrade the natural storylines that was told from these movies. And this movie is a great movie called the Devil's Daughter. The Devil's Daughter was made with an all-black cast, an all-black storyline, and an all-black locality in Kingston, Jamaica. And at that time, there were not a lot of independents at all, period, black or white. So the writer, Mr. Arthur Leonard, dared to write something that was more artistic than being a servant or a butler or whatever else that black people had to serve to white people on the screen at that time. The movies were made and on the major movies you had the Bogarts, you had the Cagneys, and you had George Raff. Well, on our side, we had the Nina Mae McKenzie. She was a beautiful lady. We had the Lena Horns. And most of all, we had my mom's, Willa Mae Lane. We're going to take a little look at Willa Mae's movie. And I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you come back and buy this book. Because this book will not let you let it down. Once you read the first paragraph, one of my sayings is, I bet you can't read just one paragraph. <laughs> However, let's see. Let's go to the movie and enjoy yourselves. Sit back. Here we go with The Devil's Daughter. Thank you, and we'll see you in a couple of minutes. I'm sure glad I ain't no cotton picker. Why do you run away from me, mister? Why would I run away from you? Oh, I, I, I would run away from dead folk. <laughs> was that why you was running away? Ain't y'all scared of dead folk? No, of course not. Plenty of doves around here. We're never scared. Plenty who around here? Doves. Dove. Dead people. Spirits. Yeah. Come on, boy. What's your name? Why, my name is Percy Jackson. How did you know I was from Harlem? I can tell by those sharp clothes you're wearing that you're from Harlem. <laughs> well, look -a here. I done found me a hip chick on the island. What are you doing here? Why, I'm Miss Walton's house man. Which Miss Walton? Why, Miss Sylvia Walton, of course. We came down from the States about two weeks ago to take over the banana plantation that the father left us when he died. That's the only one Miss Walton down here. That's Miss Isabel. She's been running the plantation for years. Ever since Miss Sylvia and her father went to the States. Well, I don't know nothing about that. Miss Sylvia runs it now. And we ain't seen Miss Isabel around since we've been here. Of course she hasn't. Miss Isabel is plenty mad. <coughs> What's that noise? Duffy. Hmm? And they're not after me. 
they are looking for you. They don't like strangers. Well, what do they want with me? I ain't done nothing to them. They are wicked, Douglas. They want your soul. Want who's soul? They ain't gonna get my soul. No, honey, no. How are you going to stop them? Why, gal, I got plenty of charm. They won't stop service. No. Only Miss Isabel can do that. Well, how can she stop them? Miss Isabel no lot. She's Miss Sylvia's step-sister. Her mother was Haitian. Well, come on, let's find Miss Isabel quick, or them Douglas is coming fast. Wait, not that way. Sylvia, before you left for the States, it was well, uh, sort of understood that we would be married. That was puppy love, John. A boy and girl infatuation. I thought you'd be cured by now. I've been gone a long time. But I haven't changed. I'm only sorry that it took your father's death to bring you back here. Poor father. He was so bent on having Isabel and me properly educated. He was so sure New York could afford us better opportunities. Now here I am back again. Culture and all. You know, Sylvia, you could love me if you weren't so infatuated with Philip Ramsey. Surely you don't love him. Because I've known him for only a few weeks, or because he's my overseer? No, because I don't trust him. Why, you know nothing whatsoever about him. If I didn't trust him, I wouldn't let him have full charge of the plantation. All right, have it your own way. But I'm not going to give up. I'll prove him for what he really is. And sooner or later, he'll show his true colors. You're being ridiculous, John. Drive me to the dock. I want to see how that shipment is going. Come on, boys. Come on, step along now. Get to moving, boys. Get to moving. Would you mind coming in with me for a few minutes? Okay. Come on, let's get this cleaned up. Hello, Philip. How's the work going? Splendid. It's our best shipment up to date. Well, by the way, that lugger captain paid cash for those bananas this morning. The money's in the safe. You can bank it this afternoon. Well, we'll have to wait until tomorrow. How's your work getting along, Logan? All right. Why? No, oh, nothing much. Any of your hands been acting up lately? What do you mean? Any rumors of obia activity? Of course not. Say, what are you trying to do, scare Sylvia? Naturally not. But there's something going on, and I can't put my finger on it. Listen, that's strange, drums at this time of day. I tell you, John, they are different from what they used to be. I think you're right, Sylvia. They sound strange yeah. to me. You know better than that, Ramsey. They aren't any different. It's your imagination. Well, shall we go, Sylvia? Yes. Well, look, the men have all disappeared. Say, that's funny. They never did anything like that before. You suppose it could be the drums? Well, you've got me there, Ramsey. It could be. But it's not for any obia reasons, and I'll guarantee you that. Come on, Sylvia, before Ramsey makes you think that there are witches out there in the hills riding on broomsticks. All right. Have it your way, but I don't like it. I'm going to have a look about and find out what's happened. And don't you forget our engagement at the garden party tomorrow afternoon. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? You intrigue me. But I'm glad we're gone. It'll help me forget all this. See you later. Quick. 
Good morning, Miss Isabel. This is Mr. Percy Jackson, the house man at the great house with Miss Sylvia. This is interesting. You came from New York? Yes, ma'am. I've been up in New York with Miss Sylvia a long time. I ain't used to these things that goes on down here in these here banana jungles. <laughs> of course not. And I don't suppose Miss Sylvia is either. No, ma'am. Miss Sylvia says that this country makes her very jittery. She's afraid of us down here, is that it? Well, yes, ma'am and no, ma'am. I guess she's been up in New York so long because she don't understand the folks down here anymore. I don't doubt it. Was there some particular reason why you brought Mr. Jackson to see me? Yes, Miss Isabel. The devil was chasing him. And I told him maybe you could fix up his soul in a little pig, and then those devils would leave him alone. My soul in the pig? No, no. They ain't gonna put my soul in no pig. Well, if you'd rather let them have it. Well, you I... better have to do as Miss Isabel say. They'll find you sure. Well, all right, just as you say. But this show ain't no place for a law by Harlem citizen. You go around to the other side of the house and bring me one of the little pigs there. Yes, sir. You've done well, Elvira. I only hope Miss Sylvia is superstitious. If our ogre trickery is successful, she may go back to New York, and then I'll have the plantation back again. I hope so, Miss Isabel. We want you to run the plantation, not Miss Sylvia. Mm -hmm. and bring me a bowl of meal and dampen it a little. Mr. Percy, first I must warn you about one thing. Your soul will be in the meal fed to that pig. If you lose him, you will have difficulty in getting your soul back. So don't let anything happen to him. No, ma'am, I ain't gonna let nothing happen to this here little baby. Mr. Percy Jackson, I command you to kneel before me. Yes, sir. Oh, benevolent one, come to my aid by the sacred horns of the white goat, by the warm blood of the sacrificial dove. I command that this man's soul seek the protection I am offering through the agency of this meal and little pig. Open up the gate, so great one, and let his spirit pass within my hands. Let it pass within this meal and remain content. It is done. Rest secure that the evil spirits cannot catch you. Peace, glory, hallelujah. Ain't no duffers in town can catch me now. Miss Isabella, I do not know how to thank you for what you've done. You can show your gratitude by not mentioning this little incident to anybody. It's just between us three. Now hurry back to the great house and the pig can eat as you walk along. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Gloria Lewis, a nationally known vocalist from Griffin, Georgia. And I'd like to talk to you about the greatness that this lady brought both on screen and off. First, I'd like to talk about The Devil's Daughter. It was shot as an independent movie. It had a black cast and also a black storyline. And it was shot in an all black locality, Kingston, Jamaica, in 1939. Is that black enough for you? This movie had its own storyline. It signaled the revolutionary change of method for black actors. This showed the world that Afro-Americans had more to give than being servers, butlers, female breastfeeders on screen. Another point of information is, what was Willa Mae's name in the movie? You remember? Elvira. Was she the first Elvira? And then later on came the second Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Hmm, that's a mind bender. 
Once you buy this book, you won't want to put it down. Something else you won't want to put down are the season's greeting cards, which are perfect for family and friends. Make sure that you get our book on Amazon. You can go to Amazon. All you have to do is put in Willa May Lane and put the title of the book in. We, for me, and presto, it'll come up at you. You can get an ebook on Amazon. Now, any online book sale retailers, we're there looking for you. We hope that you enjoy this, and we have a whole lot more coming for you. So make sure that you tune in to us on WoolaMayLane.com. That's WoolaMayLane.com. Let's spell that for you one time. W-I-L-L-A capital M-A-E capital L-A-N-E dot com. Real simple. And one thing I'd just like to tell you is that you can go online at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or any of the online retailers and pick this book up. You want to get this book, I guarantee you, because once you get it, like she said, once you pick it up, you can't put it down. It's a fantastic story. So until then, we both like to say to you, enjoy. enjoy. Just to get away 